On November 29th at Boca Chica Starbase, SpaceX was able to complete a static fire test of 11 of the 33 rocket engines that are included in a super heavy booster. There were no incidents during the course of the testing. As a direct consequence of this, SpaceX came one step closer to attempting to send Starship into orbit for the first time. In this video, we're going to talk about the procedure and the big problems SpaceX rocket has gone through and still facing. These problems include crossing roads with the Federal Aviation Administration. So stick around to find out more and hit that subscribe button for more Space Tech news. The static fire test that was performed on 14 of the booster's engines on November 14th lasted for a shorter amount of time compared to the static fire test that was performed on the engines of Super Heavy 7BN, which lasted for around 13 seconds. The static fire test that was done on a Super Heavy prototype still holds the record for the longest duration of any other Super Heavy prototype that has been created up to this moment. According to tweet posted by Musk, the next test will involve firing with max oxygen fill for autogenous pressurization, then maybe one more static fire, and then orbital launch attempt. During refueling, a small amount of the liquid propellant already on board is converted into gas, and then the gas is used to pressurize the booster's fuel tanks so that fuel can continue to flow to the engines. This is done so that refueling does not interrupt the flow of fuel to the engines. The process in question is referred to as refueling. This method needs to be carried out exactly as described to ensure that the engines continue to operate normally. A combination of liquid oxygen and liquid methane serves as the fuel for the Raptor 2 engines that are found in both the first stage of the world's most powerful rocket, the Super Heavy, and the second stage of the Starship. These engines are used in both of these stages. This mixture is referred to as a Singa's blend in the industry. On September 8, SpaceX was able to simultaneously ignite all six of the Starship's engines with great success. Musk had promised that the spacecraft will perform its flight any day in the 12 months of 2022 but now that we are already into 2023, it's natural that everyone at SpaceX is working at full capacity to transform the dream into reality and see the incredible launch of Starship in during the first quarter of 2023. But there is no assurance that the first orbital flight will take place this month because the Starship development program has historically been beset by delays. As part of the Artemis program, NASA has given SpaceX a contract of $2.9 billion to create the human landing system. Since the beginning of the Apollo program in the late 1950s, American astronauts have not stepped foot on the moon, so this upcoming mission is going to blow past that benchmark. This is just one of the many reasons why SpaceX is working on the Starship project. Some of the other reasons include transporting people and cargo, as well as traveling to and from Mars and Earth. The first crewed Starship mission to the moon, also known as Artemis 3, is expected to take place in either the year 2025 or the year 2026, depending on how smoothly everything goes according to plan. During this time, SpaceX is continuing to wait to hear back from the Federal Aviation Administration regarding the prospect of acquiring the required launch license for the maiden voyage into orbit. As a result of an environmental evaluation regarding the potential impact of orbital flight testing at Boca Chica that was carried out by the Federal Aviation Administration, the agency announced on September 26 that there would be no significant impact as a result of their findings. This is a major step toward the first orbital launch from Boca Chica and is a noteworthy accomplishment for the administration. On the other hand, the Federal Aviation Administration demanded that SpaceX carry out more than 75 distinct activities to reduce the potentially harmful consequences that orbital launch could have in that region. In addition, the Federal Aviation Administration emphasized that the environmental evaluation was just one stage out of a total of five processes in the application process for an initial launch license. 
However, this was not even close to being the first time that the administration had intervened. The Federal Aviation Administration of the United States Department of Transportation required SpaceX to take more than 75 actions to mitigate environmental impacts from its proposed plan to launch the Starship Super Heavy vehicle from Boca Chica, Texas. This was done to prevent any environmental damage that may have been caused by the unsuccessful launch attempts. Launches will be publicized in advance, following consultation with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service to decrease the amount of time that State Highway 4 will be closed while launch operations are taking place. In addition to Boca Chica Beach and the Lower Rio Grande National Wildlife Refuge, the road passes through Texas State Parks. Access to the refuge and park will be maintained throughout the year by prohibiting closures on 18 specific holidays and limiting weekend restrictions to no more than five weekends per year. This will ensure that visitors have access to both location throughout the year. In addition, the Federal Aviation Administration will bring the use of real-time notification systems for the initiation, termination, and cancellation of access restrictions. It will be necessary to take additional precautions to mitigate the impact on fish, wildlife, and plants and resources that are safeguarded by the National Historic Preservation Act. Some examples of these measures include the following. A knowledgeable biologist will continue to keep an eye on the area's vegetation and animal life, providing advanced warning to the communities that are close by regarding the possibility of engine noise and sonic booms caused by launches. Coordination with local, state, and federal agencies to remove launch debris from environmentally sensitive areas. Making adjustments to the lighting at the launch complex so that it has less of an effect on the surrounding wildlife and the beach. Now with that out of the way, one can only hope for SpaceX to finally launch its historic rocket in peace, and despite all the hardship, Musk and his team are starting to see their plans hatch some results. But until then we kindly ask you to leave a like if you enjoyed watching our video and subscribe to receive more of our new updates. See you very soon on another video.